Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison, and this video is going to show you how to back up any Android phone using the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB tool. Okay, so before we can start doing anything on our phone, you need to set up your computer with some software. And there's just two things you need to have installed. The first thing is the Android SDK, and the second thing is the Samsung USB drivers, which allow your computer to see your phone when it's in USB debugging mode. So the links are both in the description below. First of all, here's the Samsung USB driver. Just click it, it will download and you can install it. It's all very self-explanatory. And secondly, we've got the Android SDK. This gives you all the API libraries and developer tools that you need. In this case, all you actually need is the ADB executable. You can either just click this or it's even easier to check you're getting the right version. So we only need the SDK tools and you can just use the installer or the zip file. It's up to you. Google here recommend the installer because it's a bit easier. Again, download this XE, install it on your computer. We recommend the default path and you're almost good to go. Once you have got the SDK installed, you'll then have to go to the folder where it was installed. In this case, it's going to be C Drive, Program Files, Android, Android SDK. So then you just need to find your SDK manager. You can run that as administrator. So once that's run, here we go. You'll find that I've got almost everything installed here on this computer. I'm just going to point out the most important one, which is the platform tools, and this includes the ADB program itself. So just make sure that's selected. I'm going to not bother with all this other stuff. Just go through, choose to install whatever you want. In my case, it's more than enough just to make sure you've got the SDK platform tools installed. So click install, accept the license, hit install, and it will go ahead and download it for you. And once it's downloaded everything, it will install and you're ready to go. The most important thing you'll find is there should be a platform tools directory in your Android SDK folder and that has to have the ADB executable there. So we're going to watch this download. I'm probably going to fast forward through this. But once you have the USB drivers installed and the Android SDK installed, your computer's all set up. We then just need to go over to the mobile phone and prepare that. So what we're going to do there is enable the dev tools, enable USB debugging and ensure that everything else is backed up that ADB can't handle before we connect it to the computer and run the backup commands. Okay, so while we fast forward through this download, it's also worth mentioning that one thing that ADB won't back up for you is your SMS text messages. Luckily, there are a couple of free tools available in the Play Store called SMS Backup Plus and SMS Backup and Restore, and we'll include links to both of them in the description below so you can use them if you need to. We're just waiting for the download to finish and for the installation to complete, and it's looking like it's more or less there now. Yep, so now we're completed. Before we can connect our phone to the computer and communicate with it, we just need to make sure that we have a password set and that USB debugging is turned on. So go to your phone settings, head across to more, scroll down to about device, and then at the very bottom of about device, you need to tap on build number a few times until you unlock developer mode. And once you've unlocked developer mode on your phone, you then have access to a secret menu called developer options. So hit back, go to developer options, and here we can choose a desktop backup password. So hit that. You need to make sure you have a password set, otherwise ADB won't be able to connect to your phone. So this is a new password for this phone. We're just gonna type in a password and confirm it again in the second text input box and press set. Now we need to check that USB debugging is turned on, so just hit the checkbox there and we're ready to go over to the computer and go to the next step of using ADB to back up your phone. Once you've installed the Android SDK on your computer and you've got the USB drivers working properly and you've also enabled USB debugging on your phone, then you're ready to start using ADB to make a full backup of everything in your Android installation, including apps, system files, and all your settings and data. First things first, hit Windows R on your computer or press Start Run and you'll get the Run menu. And then we can just type in CMD and then hit Enter. 
and up will pop your command prompt. So the first thing we need to do is to navigate to the directory where we've installed ADB. In my case, it's the default directory, and I'm going to use the CD or change directory command to navigate there. So it's going to be in the C drive, program files. Because I'm running a 64-bit of version of Windows, I need to go to the 32-bit program files directory where it was actually installed. Android, and then it's Android SDK. And then the directory you want to look for is actually called Platform Tools. So there we are. I can just verify that the ADB executable is here. And there it is, adb.exe. And now I can plug in my phone once I've enabled USB debugging. And as long as I've done the previous steps, which are installing the USB drivers and installing the Android SDK, I'm ready to go ahead and connect my phone. Also, don't forget you have to have enabled DevTools and USB debugging on your handset. But then you simply connect your phone via USB to the computer. It will pop up a little screen saying allow USB debugging, which will enable you to confirm the RSA key fingerprint of your computer. Hit OK and your phone is then connected. First of all, let's look at the various options available. So there's all sorts of commands you can type into ADB, but in general, your command for backing up is going to be of the following form. So it's ADB, backup, and then you have various options. So you have an optional option, which is the F option. So you simply type F and then the file name. And this is the file name of the backup file, which is going to be a .ab file stored somewhere on your computer. So for example, we could choose C drive backup one. AB. Another option you have available is APK or no APK. This simply flags whether or not the APK file should be included in the backup or just the app's respective data. Another option is shared or no shared. The default here is no shared and this simply flags whether to enable or disable backup of the device's shared storage and SD card contents. We also have an option all. This is an easy way to say backup every single app rather than just a few. And we've also got a system or no system. This simply chooses whether or not to include system applications or not. You can also finally include package names afterwards. So for example, com.google.android.apps, android.apps.plus. This could be an example of a particular package you want to back up individually rather than backing up the whole system. But in general, your backups are going to be using a command of the following form. So we have this file option, we have the APK or the no APK option. We have the shared or the no shared option. We have the all option. We have the system or the no system option. And we have optional package paths. So let's go ahead and start using ADB. So the first thing I'm going to do is verify that the phone is definitely connected with the devices command. So you simply type ADB devices. There it is, one device attached. And now I'm going to use my backup command. So it's going to be ADB backup, APK flag, shared flag, all flag, all flag, and then the file name I'm going to choose is backup s3.ab. And that's it. So hit return. Your phone will pop up. You just need to type in your password here. And then press the back up my data button and it will start going. And I'm just going to let this run. Everything will flash across the screen on your phone. And after a while, when you're finished, it will return to the command prompt. And I'm going to fast forward to that stage. So here we are, the backup is completed, the backup file has been made, and we're ready to restore it. Right, restoring the backup is 
even easier than backing up in the first place. And in fact, the restore command for ADB actually has no options at all apart from the file name you want to restore. So you simply need to type ADB restore and then the path to your backup and then hit enter. Same thing as usual, type in your password on your device, press restore my data and it will take a little while to go through all the packages and all the files that are being restored to the handset and when it's done it will go back to the command prompt which I'll fast forward to now. And there we are. A simple and easy way to back up your phone and restore it using ADB and of course this does not need root at all. Thanks for watching. Bye.